trick glory Put the vibes right over me Hey guys, Ekthemo here and welcome back to the second part of Level Up for the Time Spent In-Game Command Block Tutorial. This is the part 2 for the Bedrock Edition. First of all, you need to make sure that you give yourself a command block. We should all know how to do that by now. If not, here it is. Forward slash give at self command underscore block. Once you put that in, press enter. The next thing you want to give yourself is a comparator, an observer, and a piece of redstone dust. That is it. After you've got those things, we need to do a little bit of changing the displays that we have currently on at the moment, especially if you have followed from the previous video. So what we do is we go into our chat bar, forward slash scoreboard objectives remove level. Press enter. And it will say removed objective level successfully. You want to press up and then change that back to add so get rid of remove add add <laughs> and then dummy on the very end once you've done that press enter so now the dummy has been reactivated it is now a dummy again and everything should still be working but the display is gone and that's what we want we now want to add a new display and this is where in the previous video I didn't use the level display we are now going to use the level display so back into your chat line forward slash and what you can do is press up and you can use what's already there we'll just get rid of it back to objectives and then we want to go set display and then sidebar level display just like this and as you can see there it's come up with level display now it has no names underneath yet but it will what we need to do first is get our first set of command blocks and let me get in the, in the right position, here we go. Now we might as well make it next to here. We want to look at the ground, crouch and place four of these blocks on top of each other all facing to the sky and as you can see there there's four of them, one, two, three, four. And then we want a comparator facing outwards with one piece of redstone dust and an observer not facing this way, we want it facing that way. A little red bit at the back and a little face facing the redstone. After that, we want to do the exact same as we did over there, but we only want three this time. So crouch, one, two, three, all facing the sky. Just like so. Now, I always generally work from left to the right, like so. So I'm going to do that here and go into this one for the first command block. And in this command, you want to type this forward slash test for at all that is it the first command in this is the most simplest one to write we want to change this to a repeat unconditional always active previous output watch this boom found sec fame all there it says and also you can tell that it's working because the comparator has gone off the redstone is dingling and flashing out right of there that means that this observer has probably sent off its pulse to this set of commands which obviously aren't going to do nothing yet because they haven't been written next the one above the first one that we just wrote we need to put this forward slash scoreboard players and at all level zero now what we're doing here is we're telling the command block to look into the scoreboard at all the players and we want them to add zero to the level dummy what we want to do now is change that to chain conditional always active and if we go back in, it should now say added zero to level for Zach Vaymore, now zero. In the next command, we want to type the exact same, but instead of level, we want level display. Forward slash scoreboard players add at all level display zero. Now, once again, we want to change that to a chain conditional always active. And then when we go back in, you can see at the output it says added zero to level display for me now zero simples okay and the final command now this gets a little bit tedious so we want to go into the big screen and then we enter this forward slash execute at all tildly 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 
scoreboard players operation at self level display space equals space at self level. Now what we're telling this to do is basically get the command block to execute a math equation and we're asking it to look at all the players whilst it's doing this wherever they are hence the tildly 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 so whatever position that the players are in and we're asking it to basically whatever the score is in level we want the level display to be equal to it so basically whatever level is level display will be the same as and that's what this command does now we want to change that to chain conditional always active and then when we go back in you can see it says set level display for Zach Vamel to zero and that's because my level is now zero so as you can see level display has shown my name and it still says zero now in theory because this is just level display right if we change this to go a little bit faster dun -dun -dun -dun, like so we should see that it now goes up even though it says it's the level display <laughs> okay <laughs> I've got up five levels in an instant that's fine absolutely fine so now anytime a player comes in the comparator goes off sends a little redstone signal gets turned into a pulse by the observer and now we can do these commands to actually make it work now the first thing we want to do and this might sound a bit strange is we want the command to remove the display so we go forward slash scoreboard objectives remove level display okay so let's get rid of it we want this one to be impulse unconditional needs redstone okay in the next command we want to type this forward slash scoreboard objectives add level display dummy level now you can actually change this to anything you want at the very end after dummy you can make it fancy with the colors and whatever else um i'm not going to do that for this video but you guys can okay completely up to you now what we want to do is obviously make this command block reinstate and re-add the level display dummy but this time we're going to give it a new display name so when it displays it will display with the word that's after dummy so you can make that whatever you want now like I say we want this chain conditional always active so we won't get an output just yet and then the final one we set the display so forward slash scoreboard objectives set display sidebar level display now this basically just reinstates the display we also want this chain conditional and always active it's not going to do nothing now because I'm already in the realm and well you know nothing's gonna happen it's not gonna update for anybody or anything because they're not here so I have a lovely assistant that's gonna join in so we can see how this actually works now as you can see right there we have had pixie b7000 has joined and it automatically updated added the name to the level and to the display with zero now there they are <laughs> but then again once they leave the player offline disappears automatically updating itself using this system it's very good, it's very efficient, very quick, and it works flawlessly, if you ask me. It is the perfect solution for when you have scoreboards displayed and the player goes offline. Now, if you want to change these inputs for any scoreboard that you want, you just change what I've put as level to your scoreboard names. And of course, if you only have one and you're not doing a separate display like I have, although I do recommend it because it does make it work far more efficiently and things won't get messed up and it won't break it I always have displays separate from the actual scoreboards just to keep things nice and clean but yeah that's it guys that's pretty much it 
So you can treat this as a separate tutorial on how to get rid of offline players or you can treat it as part two to the level up for time spent in game. Completely up to you. Make sure that you like, comment and subscribe. Make sure that you check out a couple of other YouTubers that I will be mentioning in the description. Black Eyed Panda for one. Definitely go and give him a sub. He's a content creator for the Iron Crad realms that we have. And uh, so yeah, definitely go and check him out. Also Blockaholic. I have left his description in my previous video. If you haven't seen the previous video, the link to that is in the description also. And vice versa. And uh, yeah, hope you have a good time. Until next time. Bye bye bye.